I have the Evolution Airsoft Desk set up again. Let's do this. First of all, I'd like to say thank you so much to Evolution Airsoft for sending me the Evolution Evo Ultra Light Carbine PDW Lone Star Edition. Right, let's see what we've got in this box of loveliness. So straight away we have a quality certificate. So that shows you the tests that have been carried out and it also includes the unique serial number, which should be somewhere on this carbine or carbine, depending on who you are. <laughs> okay, some uh, sheets of data about the Lone Star Edition technical spec and also about the series. With my edition of this Lone Star, it's at an FPS rating that is suitable for the UK. If you are in the USA or any other country, Evolution Airsoft will include a spring that will keep you happy. So, what else have they provided? Well, let's go straight to this little plastic bag. Ah, very nice. You've got some extra rails and front and rear battle sights. Ah, oh, very nice. We also have a polymer foregrip and we also have a 120 round licensed ABS hex mag. And now we get to the Cerakoted Evolution Evo Ultralight Carbine PDW Lone Star Edition. Now, when Evolution Airsoft reached out to me and said they want to send me their latest Lone Star Edition, I was so excited, but then in the back of my mind I was thinking, ah, another rifle like this. However, when I read the spec, I said, yes please. <laughs> so, this rifle is Cerakoted, officially Cerakoted. It also sports a PDW stock, a polymer grip and a full metal body. So the first thing I'm going to do, just so that I can complete the picture of this awesome looking carbine, is I'm going to put the battle sights on, the foregrip, the extra rails, and I'll shove the mag up it just to complete the picture. Oh, and by the way, they also supply you with this little key so you can adjust your front battle sight. Now, you are going to need one or two tools to get this thing together Especially because, and this is what I love about Evolution Airsoft, they have a true quick change spring system. And the reason why I stress true, you literally just have to remove the buffer tube and use a tool to get to your spring. That's it. A lot of other Airsoft rifles, you literally have to tear the thing apart and get the gearbox out. Not with this. Now, because I've got an extensive Airsoft armory, there's no way I could survive without a little Airsoft toolbox. So I know from this, what I will need is a screwdriver, but guess what? Unlike the last time, it doesn't have to be this long. And an Allen key. And again, this time, it doesn't have to be this long. Oh, and by the way, you don't need all those tools to get this Evolution Airsoft rifle together. You just need an Allen key or two to put on your rails and your folding battle sights. Now, I think the first thing I'll do is put the rails on this M-Lock system. And I think I'll try and be tactical <laughs> and put this longer of the three rails canted off to the side like this. I'll use one of the smaller ones for the foregrip. And I'll just shove the other one somewhere else, so I might not even use the other spare little rail. Okay, so I've made a decision. I've decided to use all of the rails that Evolution Airsoft provided, and I'm basically gonna use that one for the foregrip, and I may mount a camera 
or maybe even a laser on that one. And like I mentioned before, I've put this longer piece right here off to the side from the main rail. Nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the battle sights on, the foregrip, and then I'll show you the mag, and then show you the complete picture. Oh, ho, ho, looking sweet. Now, with the foregrip, it's a personal choice. It comes with it. I personally love this foregrip, but you don't have to put it on if you don't want to. Now, I'd just like to mention, you will actually need a flathead screwdriver, not an Allen key, to put the foregrip on. Now, let's have a quick chat about the hex mag. I can see straight away how it's been designed. It's gonna feed pretty good, but we'll only know that during the shooting test. And look, can I point out, it's even got an Evolution Airsoft color-coded mag follower and hex on the base. Right, let's complete that picture. Very nice. Okay, let's move on to the features now. It has a PDW four position retractable stock and I'm absolutely loving this large release for the stock right there. So you simply push that in. That's position one. Position two. Position three. And position four. And now that we have the stock fully extended, I'll take this opportunity to show you this cool buffer tube. That's where you would store your battery and that's where you would get to to change your spring. All you would do is unscrew this section right here and that reveals your Tamiya connection. Now I won't put the battery on just yet because I want to show you the quick change spring system. So at this point you can just pull the stock off completely and if you look down there you can see a Phillips screw. And the great thing about this new system is that you can use the shortest of screwdrivers. Look. That's how short this one is. You no longer need an extra long screwdriver. And then look, you use an Allen key to take the spring out. And there's your spring. Now, the big question is, will this battery pack, with all of its cabling and the plugs, fit in this tiny little buffer tube? Well, we'll try. First thing we're going to do is get the stock back on. Then I would suggest you put your Tamiya plug next to the battery pack. Yeah, that should do it. Okay. Then push down as much of it as possible. Believe it or not, that's about as far <laughs> as it will go but just try and get as much of that cabling down there too. So I'm gonna fold it even more. There you go. And remember your stock will always be loose until you get this tightened back on. Oh, and a little tip. If you want to make things easier for yourself, you can actually remove this section of the stock, leaving that in place, and you can screw this on much more freely. Okay, so the mag's out, nothing in the chamber. Let's see if this works. First thing I'd like to do, as you know, I like to test the quality of the fire selector switch. Nice. Not too tight, not too loose, and it clicks into place positively. Right, let's get it back to semi and a quick test, make sure it works. Nice. Very snappy. Full auto test. Oh, ho, ho. Now, if you're wondering why I reacted that way when I did full auto, well, you know, I get very excitable about these things regardless, but with this, what I love about the sound on this, it's less of that whirring motor noise that you get with a lot of AEGs. This is more of a slap, 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 or clap, clap, clap noise. Ha, love it. Okay, so moving along from this very nice looking PDW stock, which also has that nice hex design that matches your mag. You also have your mock forward assist, your charging handle that reveals your hop-up adjustment, 
you have your mag release, your metal trigger, and your folding battle sights. And you also have genuine M-Lock along this shroud. And of course, you've got these extra rail segments that I showed you earlier. Now going back to this grip, if you grip the base and open it up, you've got some storage space. And I would suggest you could probably fit a battery down there or some sweets. Or if you're watching in America, some candy. Now, looking on the other side, you've got your stock release, your fire selector switch for safe, semi and full auto, which can be switched to the other side if you're a lefty. Oh, and if I bring you back towards the stock, you've got a QD sling point. And might I add, X Cortec, you know, the people that make the chrono machines and tracer units, they got in contact with me and asked me if I would like to review one of their tracer units. Something that I think will go on here very nicely considering it's a floating barrel. But that's for another video. Okay, let's have a quick look at the trades and the markings. You've got Evolution Earsoft right there and beneath the dust cover, a unique serial number. You have your NATO markings on the mag and further markings on the top. You have your M-Lock logo and apart from your fire selector switch markings, you have your Lone Star markings here and here with the Lone Star logo. But take note, a different serial number for Lone Star. And just inside the stock, you've got a sticker with the Evolution Airsoft logo. And you've got various M-Lock symbols on the rails. And one last thing before the shooting test, it's got one of those quick detach motors. You need no tools whatsoever. You simply squeeze the base of the grip, open up the door, pull this off, and there's your motor. Okay, let's go for a chrono test first, and then an accuracy test. Oh, and because it's a mid-cap, there's no rattling BBs. Nice. Awesome. Pretty consistent. I'll put that around the 320, 325 FPS. And remember, you do get a second spring. And with that quick spring change system, you can have a more powerful FPS reading in seconds. Right, let's test full auto. Very nice. 17 rounds per second and the FPS is still up there with what we were getting when we were on Sebi Auto. Because as you know, with a lot of airsoft guns, when you switch to full auto, well, I say a lot, some of them start to drop in FPS. But not this one, it's consistent. Let's move on to the accuracy test. Now, I haven't got my other target papers ready yet, so I just printed up some A3 targets for myself at home, and I've brought them in to do today's accuracy test. Now, just to give you an idea of how small that center target is with my initials, here's a standard SD card adapter. I'll say no more. Do you know what? It would help if I actually used the front and rear sight. <laughs> if you can imagine, each of these rings is about a centimetre 
in width and in total from the furthest BB right there and there the maximum is about 12 centimeters. So when it comes to groupings, that's pretty awesome. Okay, let's go full auto, empty the mag and destroy that target. <laughs> so people, this was the Evolution Evo Ultralight Carbine PDW Lone Star Edition. So, like I always do, what are my pros and cons? Well, the pros for me is that the finish on this is beautiful. Again, Cerakoted. I love this color, it's not really black. It's almost like a, a gray. But regardless, it's gorgeous, a dark gray borderline black. I'm loving the fact that it has M-Lock. I love that it has these flip up battle sights. Absolutely loving the quick spring change system and your quick and easy access to the motor and the fact that they include a very cool foregrip and hex mag. I'm also loving that it's licensed and I absolutely adore the stock. And when it comes to the internals, I've got no complaints whatsoever. However, I do have one or two things I didn't like. I would have loved it if this dust cover could actually close. It can't. It remains open permanently. It would have been nice if this charging handle actually locked back and this bolt release was real and maybe some metal battle sights. Other than that, I love this thing as a primary platform. No rattling with the mag, nice textures on the grip and the foregrip, and all of those little things that I didn't like really doesn't affect the performance. The performance out of the box is outstanding. So, as you can see, you're not just stuck with one color. And there's slight variations to this too. If you like what you see, head over to my video description where you will see a direct link to the Evolution Airsoft website. You'll get an idea of the price. And if you go to the website, you will see an array of different kinds of airsoft weapons they have produced. And remember, Evolution Airsoft ships worldwide. Plus there's Airsoft retailers that also stocks their products. Now when you look at the price of this particular rifle, keep in mind what you are getting. Higher quality internals, that quick spring change system, quick detach motor, the hex mag, the PDW stock and the official Cerakote finish. I'm Airsoft Mike, thanks again to Evolution Airsoft and I'll catch you next time.